So, hey guys, Chaozo here, so I finally done it. I beaten level 5 Bugged in 10 away, and the star of the show is the new Luffy, and particularly his support. He can attach to any Mugi, and when you use a special, you get a 1.25 times base attack increase. And this is huge. Let's take a look at Mybrook's current attack. He's Limbrick Expander level 120. He has almost 2800 attack, and that's multiplied by 1.25 times. So we're talking over 3500, so that's a lot of attack. And really helped make up the difference. I had to make a chase because of this, because you need another support to remove Bind and the Spear. So we went for Kiku, who can still do color affinity, which is vital together with uh, the way the team works. And you also have double specials, you actually get color affinity on the stage 2, which is super good as well. Count Hero removes Bind and the Spear, so we got all of that covered. Apart from that, it's the same team I did last time. It's just so much better now. And obviously it has a lot of high investment, but that's how it is. Yeah, you can use Viper support as well on Sub and Ace, doesn't matter which one. But yeah, this one might be very high investment, but as you will see when we move on now, there will also be a follow-up to this first part of the video where I do the resilience strat again, but show a new discovery that has been made, not by me, but my, by members of the Pirate Alliance Discord, in particular Skur and Gin, shoutouts to them. But let's start with my team first, because this is the first proper playthrough I've got on. Basically there's two strats to level 5 buggy. Uh, either you do it the intended way, and the intended way is that you use Brook's Super Claws on the second turn of final stage to increase the damage reduction duration. Or you use the cheese way, where you use Brook's Super Claw Special turn 1, final stage. And this basically gives you more, a lot more damage, so you don't need as much stats. But then you lack damage reduction in the end. So in order to survive, you need the resilience sockets to proc. But we'll get to that on the second team. This one does the entire uh, run legit, as Panda intended. I don't know if you saw it there, but... Yeah, we can use Kiko on stage 3 now to get extra damage, and this removes all RNG from the run, because this stage is not RNG, this is consistent. You have two guaranteed quick orbs due to the swap, and even if all the others have dex orbs, you still get the kills you need and only leave this guy alive, at least when you have high enough investment. But yeah, for this particular team, this is the minimum investment you need. You'll see that I kill this stage with Buggy by only 3 million, like it was super close. So you don't can't really afford any less investments that I, than that I use here. But with the super class buff for the second team, you can make do with quite a bit lower investment. Hard to say how much lower though, you basically need to try it for yourself. Uh, the team also uses a limb break expander, time skip Luffy, and that adds a lot of attack. Over 3000 attack on time skip Luffy, very good. And yeah, we see the Luffy proc there. And the way that support works is that Brook will keep the increased base attack boost the entire final stage. It only is removed when you move from one stage to the next, it isn't removed when the enemy revives and such. So yeah, let's burst. I'm hitting in the optimal order for my investments at least. I pulled so many board dupes, so she's actually fully, fully maxed now. Uh, one fun thing with this team is that I actually lacked one dupe for Kiku. And I was like, damn, it, be, it would be nice if I could get a dupe on the free multi. And what will you know, dupe Kiku, I could max her without using any one of the posters. So thanks for that. And yeah, stage 2 we use Robin and Boa, it's pretty straightforward, this is how the stage is assigned to be played. The only flex slot in general for Buggy 5 right now is the third color affinity buffer. Ah, 
So yeah, now we have used the Super Claws, so that helps a lot with damage. It's not really that tight anymore. So yeah, just one left. Buggy keeps healing at less and less HP, and that's important to make Kiku work since Kiku doesn't have as good of a buff. It's just a 1.75 times as opposed to the two times colorful debuffs of Sabo Ace and Robin. Need to start with a Berry Pen unit on this stage. I go with my lowest attack one, which is Sabo and Ace. And yeah, then we just kill. Very easy. But yeah, damage does end up being a bit tighter there. But yeah, this is when we get the Resilience proc from Brew. This is the Captain Ability one incoming. This lets us take the death hit from Buggy. This is how you're intended to beat this. And then you can just one tap, kill Buggy, beat it in 10 away. Very happy I was able to do this. But yeah, let's move on to the cheese team. Resilient Sockets again. This is how you get them. It's the lower right one here. It gives like a 5% chance to survive. We presume at least. So yeah, I'm going to do a full plate. I'm going to do the full playthrough again because some people might not be interested in the Nintendo way, just want the cheese way so they get to see the whole playthrough as well. But basically, this is the exact same as the old team. The only difference is that on stage five we use Brooks Super Claws a different turn. That's literally the only difference in this team. So yeah. Instead, I guess I'll talk a bit around it. Uh, basically, there's a new way to do this cheese now, as you'll see, and it's stupidly easy. Uh, technically, what I'm up going to show you here, it was not an easy decision to make to show this, but this is a bug. It's not a new bug. The bug has been known about. It's just that nobody really realized that it had this application that we'll see in this team. Again, shoutouts to Pirate Alliance Discord, we're talking Skur, we're talking Gin. I think it was Skur who discovered this and made it work, and honestly it's such a simple thing that... Uh, yeah, like, the main reason I'm making this video, some might think, well of course you'll do it, you get views, but yeah. I don't really think so, like I could have showcased this a long time ago in Kizuna, because this particular bug has been able to let you do stuff like super swap when you're not supposed to because there's not enough turns. There's a lot of potential in this bug. It's been in the game forever. But the main reason I'm doing this is because like this is a legit something that if you know about it, you can beat buggy 5 pretty reliably. Like you do need some investments, but not as much as I have here. But if you don't know about it, you kind of screwed against buggy 5, or you use, you watch my old way and think, oh, I have to reset for a friend, time skip Luffy 20 times, like Chaozu did. But no, basically with this strat, as long as you can make it to the resilient socket proc stage, you are guaranteed to win eventually, and you'll see what in a bit. But yeah, we're doing the same song and dance here. And if you haven't watched the whole video, like, that time skip loop really helps you in terms of getting damage. Brook just gets so much higher stats. And if you have him at higher level, level limit break, like, that's even better. Because, yeah, base stats buff scales very good the higher attack you have. But yeah, I'm hitting in my optimal order. Might not be the optimal order for you. I'm also hitting a good, but that's because I do too much damage. If I don't hit a good, I will kill Buggy and hit one of the goons. And if you kill one of the goons, it's game over. You can only attack Buggy. But as you see, now I use Brook Super Claw Special. So we extended the duration of the damage reduction, so it's still active now. So when I use my Robin here, she doesn't do anything. And then the next turn, I just have no damage reduction, which is the issue and why we need resilient sockets here. But as said, this team is over invested for using the resilient socket strats, so I have to hold back damage, but if you do this, 
just hit all perfect. And in general, if you can kill stage the first turn, you should be able to kill turn two and three as well. Yeah, remove paralysis with the chip. Kiku again. Make sure you target buggy first. It's very easy to forget to target buggy. And you kill one of the goons instead. That's not good. But yeah, we get into the resilience proc stage. B basically what happens here is that the goons will attack you and you will die. But Brook's resilience in captain ability lets you survive any turn once. But now comes Buggy's Defeat. So we have a 5% chance for stats to survive here. Nope. What you do then is that you quit the game, restart, and this looks like a meme, but this is the strat. There's nothing more to it. Like, when I heard about them tried it, I, I honestly didn't know what to expect since you don't really restart in those situations. But you see where we restart and... Yeah, this process is not only f very good, but it's also fast. Like, even at a 5% chance, like, you can't retry once per minute, basically. So you're bound to hit it relatively soon. Because see, we, we, we start at the buggy death hit, and then we see, do we survive or not? If not, restart. If we do, we win. But, yeah, let's restart too when I get it. And in the end, this is a bug, so if you want to use it or not, that's up to you. I'm not telling you what to do, but here it is, now you know it exists. But yeah, thanks for watching guys, see you next time.